Friday, July 29th, New York Times reported that the organization American Atheists has filed a lawsuit to have the so-called World Trade Center Cross removed from the National September 11th Memorial and Museum here in New York because, the American Atheist complaint alleges, its presence there is, among other things, quote, violative of the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. Now, while I am and always have been a fervent advocate of the wall between religion and the state being high and thick in the United States, the American atheist action in the instant case is frivolous, tin-eared, and perhaps worst of all, indicative of their buying into the mythologizing of intersecting steel beams. I'll explain. As a matter of fact, in reality, the World Trade Center cross is not a Christian cross at all. It's merely two intersecting steel beams that were left standing amidst the wreckage of Six World Trade Center, a seven-story building that was adjacent to the Twin Towers and heavily damaged by the debris from the tower's collapse. The building was eventually demolished and cleared away, since crossbeams were common supports in the buildings that made up the World Trade Center complex, similar crosses were found amidst the rubble at spots throughout the site. The crossbeam that has come to be mythologized as the World Trade Center cross is, in fact, just one among many that used to hold up a building shaped like a cross as a mere matter of happenstance in the same way that the Twin Towers themselves coincidentally admitted of being used in place of the number 11 in post-attack iconography. Reality acknowledged, this relic of Six World Trade Center was embraced by many people as a symbol of comfort and a source of inspiration at a time when comfort and inspiration were in exceedingly short supply. In the years since the terrorist attacks, it has continued to function as such for many people. It is therefore beyond cavil that these intersecting beams are part of the history and experience of what we summarily refer to as 9-11. The World Trade Center cross tells a part of that story. Hannah Arendt once opined, quote, we must resist the impulse to mythologize the horrible. She was probably right. However, as another famous German observed, we are all too human, and all too human human beings, misguided though they were, tried to impose some sense, some order, a narrative on the events of September 11th, 2001, by reference to these intersecting steel beams, excluding them from the Memorial Museum because of how they happen to be shaped, would not only delete a symbolic chunk of the relevant history, the very thing a Memorial Museum ought not to do, but it would also make the atheists seeking mandated exclusion, and perhaps all atheists with them, seem at best astoundingly petty. American Atheists, we have big and important battles to fight. This is not one of them. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross.